All right. Okay, everybody, I'm going to finish up my getting the video part ready. Let me know if you can hear me, or I guess if you see my mouth, oh, you should see me. So if my mouth is moving, but my sound is not coming through, let me know. Because you know how. Quick, I can forget how to do stuff. I got my paper pumpkin videos done yesterday, I think it was. So kind of getting back into the swing of that, but my uh, live stuff, not quite so sure I'm all back in there yet, but let's see. I think I got it. I think I'm on, I think I'm live. Well, I gotta pull up the video yet. So let me find the video here. All right, I'm here, I'm live, yay. All right, everybody. Um, tonight, I was working today on my Lazy Days bundle um, class, because remember May was supposed to be the Lazy, Day, Lazy Days um, stamp of the month. And being sick, and I apologize ahead of time if I break into a coughing fit, my um, throat's been scratchy this afternoon, and I've been coughing more than normal. Um, <coughs> sorry, as I go right away. Um, so I postponed it. So the Lazy Days class is now going to be the 11th. I just sent out a newsletter. I whipped up a newsletter because I almost forgot to do that today. And I'm thinking it's not going to be like second or fourth. It'll be the 11th, the following Sunday. We'll do our Lazy Days class um, to get back for that. So if you want to do the projects only, RSVP to me and let me know projects only. And if you are coming, um, RSVP and let me know you're coming. Um, it, if you bought the stamp set or the bundle, I will get you your projects, whether you can come or not. <coughs> Sorry. So that you will at least have your project to go um, with your stuff. And then, because I'm not doing anything for June, I'm scheduling a just to come play with me day. And I tossed around if I wanted to do that on Saturday or Sunday. It is summertime, so I was thinking Saturdays are a lot more, um, I don't want to say busy, weekends are busy in the summertime, but um, I scheduled it for Sunday. So if you I get enough people that want to do it on Saturday, I'm more than willing to switch it to the Saturday. I think that's the 24th. But right now I got it on Sunday, the 25th, which was when we would have been doing the... Um, June stamp of the month, but I can always do it on Saturday. And it's just a pack up your stuff, come on over. We'll just have snacks and drinks and um, hang out all day and stamp or knit, crochet, color, paint, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to bring over to do. We're just going to get together and hang out and um, play with stamps stuff that we haven't played with in a long time. Um, yes, yeah, Dawn, I still have a cough. It's uh, very irritating. Um, I'm hoping it's gonna go away. I made a spicy lentil soup today. It was delicious and I could sort of taste it. So that's a nice little breakthrough there because um, I've just been eating to eat because I can't really taste anything. So gotta get that through my head that why bother eating something that I, shouldn't be eating because I can't taste it. So uh, Christy's on. Yay. Hey, Christy. 
Uh, Mom should be on. She was, I just talked to her and she was, she's going to play a puzzle. So she probably got lost in her puzzle. Um, Oh, you guys, Mike said, quick, come here. I was in the kitchen making the soup. So I went into the living room and looked out the window and it was like somebody was mowing their lawn and scalping it so short that the dirt from the yard was blowing through the air. It was the flipping pine pollen off the neighbor's group of pine trees in the back. I've never seen it. It was like this giant dust bowl blowing up, but it was all blown off of her trees. So I told Mike, I said, that's why I asked you the other day to shut the windows and turn the air on when I first was getting sick because I thought it could be allergies because I think I'm allergic to pine pollen. So um, that might be what's still hanging around here. I may have some allergy stuff going on now. Otherwise, it's just whatever I had before um, that is still just hanging around and not wanting to go away. But um, as you can see, I got my fuzzy warm jacket on because it's freezing in here. And we got the heat or the AC set at 73, I think. And it's just freezing and we're mainly downstairs. So I went around and I tried to close all the vents that I could close to keep the cold air from coming down here. But anyway, I'm digressing. Tomorrow, June 1st, starts the um, Designing Series Paper Special, 15% off of, I believe they're on page 129, 30, 31, and 32. It's basically all of the papers in the catalog, not the last page with the um, in-color papers and stuff. That one isn't included, but it's everything else. And then the one... Um, set that goes with the Hello Irresistible bundle um, off the online exclusives. That is um, all starts on sale tomorrow, 15% off. And also starting tomorrow is a sign up special for anybody who's interested, $155 worth of stuff in your starter kit for the $99 plus tax. Um, I'd love for anybody and everybody to partake in that beautiful offer. Um, whether you want to have a business, just get a discount, just take the kit and run. Um, any of which work for me, just give me a shout and I will help steer you in the direction of getting yourself signed up. Um, uh, let's see what else I got. Mom's on. Uh, oh yeah, Christy, it was definitely ill. Thank God it was blowing like to the neighbor's house backwards like into my backyard too, because I said, we don't need that um, crap in the house. Um, oh, mom got a phone call. Okay. Um, so then we got that, we got the sign up special. I know there was a couple of people that dropped that said they wanted to get back at it. So maybe this is your month. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. Um, I did have one more thing to tell you guys, and now I totally lost it. But if it comes to me, I will let you know. Because um, I think that's all. That was the only, oh, the paper pumpkin kit has a little set of three, I believe, dyes. There's a vase and a flower, maybe two vases and a flower that goes with the pumpkin kit that is good for um, June. $6 add-on for that. And the kit coordinates with the um, Countryside Inn. Um, it's the blues, the papers are blues. Um, and the bundle, it's the die, the set of dies, um, like label frames dies um, is the big draw there. And I'm gonna say that's it. And I'm gonna get started. If something hits me, I will tell you about it. And um, if you guys have any questions, just pop them in the comments over there. And I will try and keep my eye on the comments tonight. Let me move my computer over here a little bit so I can see better. Patty might not be on tonight. I think she had company for the last couple of days. She's been pretty quiet. So I'm thinking she had company. Um, that came uh, her sister-in-law, 
she's got so many sister-in-laws, nieces, and they all have the same names, Megan's and Christie's. And, um, but this is Christie, and I think it is her sister-in-law. But don't hold me to that. She was coming down. Um, she will be at my next girls' weekend, this uh, Christie, so I'll have two Christies there at the next girls weekend event but that'll be uh a ways away yet but looking forward to that so let me turn my camera down um oh kathy's on hey kathy you on the road oh you're still there according to christy asking you how it is uh let's see we're gonna spotlight is it hot and uh miserable kathy or well you live kind of by the water don't you so um maybe it's not bad so here's the card we're going to make um this card uses the add-ons for the <coughs> excuse me the may paper pumpkin kit and so i've got this sheet that lifts up and then this is one of the cards the cards were really cool in this paper pumpkin kit um, I really had a hard time cutting them open. Now, this being the add-on, the kits and the, the cards in the kit were decorated on both sides. The add-on kit is only decorated on the front, but they were still really cool. So that's the card that I made. We will be doing this um, in the Lazy Days class. I should have enough um, for everybody to do one. If not, yes, I do. I have enough. I have enough. Um, so I'm using the Lazy Days Bundle, which is, this is our stamp set. I got to get yours over to you, Dawn and Debbie. I think Patty has hers. I got a in color bag for Patty. I got a whole table full of goodies. And then here's the die set that goes with it. Get the rocking chair. Now the rocking chair, cuts out there's two rocking chairs you can stamp a rocking chair and then there's just this rocking chair so this one's going to point like the back is on the right this one it's kind of a little more rocking on the left but i'm gonna set that over here i'm gonna show you guys what i did so here's a card that we're going to use Let's fold that in half Crease on our fold. Then I have a window sheet that is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's going to go on the top. And then I have a piece of paper from the daisy paper. uh fresh as a daisy this was one of my pre-order papers so pretty i love all the um colorful daisies in it look at this one love it so i grabbed that one so this might be the same piece no this is different so bright and pretty um so i found on the back of the blue piece with the white daisies it was kind of the uh, copper clay. And then actually on the back of each piece is a solid color, one of the in colors. So I grabbed the copper clay for this card. And I cut it to one and a quarter inches by four and a quarter. And then I want to score it at one quarter inch. So be careful not to push too hard so that you don't, um, well, Lord, Jill, you want to press harder than that. But last time I ripped it. So I want to push, but don't push too hard so that you rip through it. We do have nice hard stock, but a little heavy hand will rip right on through it. And then what I did was I'm going to put a little piece of adhesive and glue that. I glued it right onto the back, but I was wondering 
if it would be any better to glue it to the inside. What do you think there? If I glued it to the inside flap, and it's not going to do show very good because like that. If I glue it to the inside and then it lifted up and it only has to fold over one. Yeah, we'll see. I'll let me glue that back on here. All right. So I got that folded over. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of my glue on there. And I'm going to glue that on to I'll go ahead and still glue it on to the back of the card. So gluing it to the inside is an uh, option. So you want to glue the quarter of an inch to the back, the very back of the card. And then I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on the glue, but I don't want to go, I just did that. I don't want to go all the way to the fold because it does have to go over another piece. So I'm going to put this down on there, line that up. And then I'm going to glue it down, adhere it to the And I do have it a little wide, Let's see if I can trim it. Last time I made it a little too narrow, so I thought it would be easier to trim it down after the fact. So let's see. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Okay, so then now we got our flip up piece. And then I have a one and a half inch wide by four and a quarter inch or four and a quarter inch wide by one and a half inches tall. Oh, I guess this was that length times width. I don't know. You guys are with me. And then we're going to stamp the um, boards. to make our little porch. And I'm gonna do that in gray granite. So I wanna find my, find my, um, not gray granite, I'm using basic gray. I was using gray granite earlier, but I think I like the basic gray better. Find my foamy thing, push that over a little bit. And then I'm just going across here, sort of random, strategically random, how I do things. To give a little bit of the um, wood base to it. And I thought I had brought a, I want to muddy it up a little bit, but I didn't bring a sponge over or a, a blender brush. So go ahead with on yours and muddy that up a little bit. I won't make you wait while I run over and get a brush, but it just takes some of the bright whiteness off if you, and this one I did in pecan pie, but I'm doing this one in basic gray, seeing if it gives it a little different look. You guys can do whatever color you want when you come over. And then I just glued that straight onto the front. Like so. And then be careful with your um, window sheet. They are not um, 
adhesive friendly. If you get adhesive on there, it just wants to smear around and be all goobery. It doesn't really want to come off. This one I did, I was able to come in with goof, um, yeah, goof off on a um, Mr. Clean sponge thing. And I got some of it off, but um, it just needs to be, you just need to be more careful than what I was. So now I've got the rocking chair and a piece of copper clay. And I have the, uh, let's see what we're gonna use. Let's go ahead and use this piece. Should work for the basket of flowers. Yeah, get our basket of flowers. And I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do it in black. I did this one in the um, clay color and I, I don't know that I like it as well. Actually, I'll do the gray. I'm gonna do going gray, the basic gray. Isn't it going gray in forever? I'm gonna do basic gray. It might not be as dark as the black. And then I'll go ahead and color it. I used my pecan pie blends. And I'm just gonna go through here a little bit and color in where these little hash marks are. This. I think I grabbed a Yes, Dawn, this is the um, stamp set we're using then. And I don't have a, I don't know what paper I grabbed here, but. I'm not, uh, probably because I used the gray. Where's my black? I'm gonna do it over. I don't like the gray. It's not showing up dark enough as the black's gonna. I didn't want it quite that dark, but the... Oh, I put on my crafting glasses today and I've been wearing them. You guys have probably noticed the last few times, but for some reason I'm seeing double today. Kind of weird. Okay, so that was the dark again. Now I'll come through with the light. Yeah, there's showing the basket a little better underneath. Okay. And then I've got some lemon lime twist and granny apple green. And I have the light in both of them. And I'm just going to come through with my granny apple green and Fill in some of the spots that I want darker. Like this. And then my lemon lime twist, I have the light as well. And I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the leaves. With that. And then I have the little die here to cut that out with. And I got the die for the chair. So let me just run those through real quick and get them off the desk. So where did I put plates? We need a one, a two, and a two. So I got the... 
that. And then this guy, he can just go on there anywhere. Hold my. Hold the die in place for the plant. And then I did not bring my proper clay marker over, but if you go into the grooves, and I would go get it, but I've wedged myself in here tonight with my light in a different spot. So I can't really get around my light. But if you go in the grooves of the rockers and on the seat, it will darken it up and give this more dimension. And again, had I brought it, I could show you, but I don't even have anything remotely close to that color, but we got that and we got that now. Now we need to do our um, ball banister, our, ba our awning and what's that tall thing called? A baluster, a support post. I don't know what we call it, but we need our little guy here again. And I'm going to show you, I've got a piece of paper. Oh, maybe I got to move it out of the way. And I'm using the um, adhesive sheets that we saw. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I know I brought two over. And so what I'm gonna do is to make this easier, I'm gonna put adhesive sheet on it, but you wanna put the adhesive sheet on the back side of what it is you are going to cut out. So let me peel that off and I'm gonna stick this down the side for the railing part. And then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to run it across the top where the awning part's going to go. So we're going to run it through like this. Make sure we got. Okay. And then this, oh, look at there, I got to cut it down. I was going to say, I looked and it was going to go through, but not that wide of a piece of paper. So we're going to lay this on here. and take the other plate. And I don't need the whole length of it, just the four and a quarter. Okay, done with this. And then now the whole piece has our sticky on it. Just stick it onto, I put it right up to the bottom of the paper. So I'm just gonna cut that off because once I peel it, it's gonna be sticky. And I don't need it sticking everywhere. And then on these sheets, you just need to grab a hold of the
other piece of the paper and peel it. And now this piece is sticky from the sticky sheet that we put on there. Cut right or sticky sheet didn't peel off all the way. Let me try and trim it. So now I'm going to stick this right up to the edge. Make sure we get our pole going down straight, but I guess it's okay. And again, being wedged in here, you'll want to get like a gray. I'm going to use a little bit of a, I don't even have a light enough marker, but go down at the base of your pole with just a little light gray to give it a shadow of being grounded. That helps it look like, you know, it's grounded down there. <coughs> Oops, I gotta cut that off just a smidge more. And then on this card, of course, whenever we usually make these cards, I try and do something that covers up the adhesive because you can see the adhesive on the back of the acetate sheet. But on this card, I don't, I don't want you, I don't want to cover it up. So we're going to see that when we open it up. So now we've got our rocking chair. You could go ahead and put the banister on here too. There's a this one that makes the banister, but um, I wanted it, you know, to look op more open to the wilderness. So I'm going to put a little um, dimensional on there. Got to cut it in half so that it fits on the seat. We don't want it to stick up over the, we could put one on the back, but then when it sticks up over the top, we'll definitely, we'll see that on the backside. So I'll just put it on this seat and then we won't see any of it when we flip it open. And then we could pop up our flower pot. Or glue it flat. I think I'm going to glue it flat, you guys. Just put a little bit of adhesive on the pot. And put that on our porch. Now, if you wanted, you could put some words up here. I wasn't really sure. This, oops, I just lost a die. I heard it fall. Oh, it's on the other side of the table, and I can't get to it. Um, this set, it just has a thanks, and they're tiny, a welcome. It's always a good day. So I didn't, it would, they were just kind of too tiny for me to put up there. So what I did was I left the front blank. And then when you open it, I put the, it's a good day. It says, it's always a good day. It's always a good day. I'm putting that right on the card. It's always a good day. And then I use the when you take time for yourself. This is a perfect Sunday card. Take time for you. And there we go. How fast was that? Too fast? I didn't even, uh, barely took a half an hour. Well, all that talking I did. 
probably only took about 10 minutes to create. So it's pretty easy, a fun fold. Um, like I said, if I wasn't trapped back here, I'd show you guys, I'd muddy that up. So maybe I will, uh, I'll post that on my Facebook here in a minute. I will finish that up with, um, I'll fill that in and I'll muddy the porch up a little bit and put the shadow down there. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, just post a random picture on Facebook for you guys to see how it finished up. But that's our card for tonight. I got my, let me turn my one light off here. There you go. Ugh, my art light. There we go. Um, take the glare off. So there we go. And let me go back to there. Should go back to me. Yes. Not sure what my computer's gonna do. So I'm gonna look down here at this little screen and tell you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I will be back again next week. I don't know if I'll start finally Fridays back up again. I got to come up with enough uh, new stuff to um, do that with. Um, I do have a card already for next week. Um, I made this card today um, and then said, oh, you know what? I got another idea. And I tried that. And then Mike's, I said, which one do you want me to do? Which one looks better? And he said, I like them both. So I got another card for next week using the same set that will be one of our, another card for the um, Lazy Days class. And I'm, I think you're really gonna like that one too. It's a little bit more involved, a lot more steps, but if you see it next Wednesday night, you'll be prepared for it on Sunday to um, kind of have a feel for how to do it. Uh, I guess that's it, you guys. I will be back. Please, please, please drink lots of water if you're outside mom and dawn in your gardens um and from there i will see you soon take care and have a great evening everybody bye-bye